Hello, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I want to share with you something that I think it might be of good use depending of if you're needing to use a specific style for embedding your YouTube channel into the Wix website. Now, before we continue, I want to make sure that, um, that I am aware that there's an actual element that you can implement and we're going to talk about it and why it's very different and there's some limitations so whenever you're going to integrate the app called youtube and us actually here so i can do this one and i think it's um free plan forgot which one is it here okay here it is so it's this one so you, we can actually uh, utilize this app right here, but there's certain limitations on what you can do. And that's why uh, on this version, what I did is we're using a little bit of Bello. These are thumbnails. So I can just select on these items. And then with this uh, different videos that I might wanna post, then I can view or watch the uh, specific video. Again, Wix does have this option that you can use, but the only thing again, it's uh, there's some limitations. So if you want to kind of like have a, a little bit more of control, you can actually do this version. It's actually very, very simple. So what we're using is an HTML uh, iframe box. And then we use uh, the different links that we want to embed. And it's going to be super simple to follow. So let's get started. First, uh, we're going to go here. And right here, we're going to open the... Uh, let me close this, actually. Uh, so we can just delete this item right here. And then uh, what you want to do is, let's say you want to have your design for your iframe box. So we're going to go here on embed it, and then we can use this embedded code. Uh, so with this one, you have your iframe box, and then you can have the size that you want. So the other thing is with the app, it only allows you to do the thumbnails at the bottom. So if there's a specific way you want to do it with this one, you'll have a little bit of more control. And then what we're going to do next is we're just going to add a few images. And each image, we can add a specific thumbnail. So we're going to go here and we're just going to add a thumbnail. And then one second, one second. Um, okay, so we're going to go here, we're going to add the a thumbnail, and let's say we're just going to add three to keep a simple sample, or we can actually do uh, seven, and then that way it's easier for you to follow. Uh, and then we can just duplicate this one, and then I can just duplicate this one again. Four, then duplicate and this is going to be the same concept if you want to do it on classic editor it will still work so you don't have to worry about that part so we have four six and then we're just going to do one more copy and paste oh. and then we have it right there and again we have a box right here so once you have that, then you can add whatever image you want here. So it doesn't have to be a specific uh, type of uh, image. It can be whatever thumbnail you want to use for that specific video. And that's what we're doing here. So we're just going to change that. Feel free to skip to where you need to go because pretty much here all I'm doing is just changing the images. So makes it very simple and easy to just follow this part. And once we add the code, it's gonna make it super simple to just um, add the code, add the links, and that's it. So let's say we use this one. And last, we can use 
uh, let's say this one right here and that's it so we have our images we have our box so now the second thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy the code uh, you can access this directly on the link below on the um, on the description of the video and all you have to do here is just click here on the enter code if you see it right here let me so you click on your box click enter and then you're gonna delete whatever item was there and then you're just gonna paste the code that i give you pretty much this it gives them the height so you can change this so if you want to change the the size of how you want the video to display so you can play it with this from here there's nothing else other than right here see it's a youtube video that we're gonna use and if you're using a different type of um, player like uh, i think there's another one uh what's the name i forgot but you can also use it for different players and you just gotta replace this uh this code right here i mean this part of the code uh, but if you're just using youtube then this is gonna be perfect so once you do that you just click update and then it's gonna already display the frame right here then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna expand our items right here our box sorry and then we're gonna clear all the code that is right here and then we can just paste the next part of the code and in this section you can just copy the code that i give you i'm gonna show you how to modify it so we're gonna paste the code right here and then as you can see here i have thumbnail 1 12 13 14 16 17 so it's one two three four five six seven right so all i have to do here is i can just copy this and change it right here and then this is my second thumbnail so i can just click on that one and then on the third one and you if you need to delete them just make sure you delete this whole section right here if you need less or if you need more just duplicate it just to make sure you add a comma and then you can add more uh, so that's very easy to follow so that's two and then we can do three here and then we can um, make sure we could here and then just paste it right there then this one it's gonna be the fourth then next one and let me minimize this so we can expand this section just so i can scroll a little bit better and then we're on five right four it's gonna be five and then this one two copy and then paste right here and lastly is this one So seven, right there. So that's pretty much all you have to do there. And then you gotta give an ID to your iframe box. So in this one, you're just gonna copy this and then name your iframe here. And that's it, super simple. So you can see here, I have already the links. So you can change them for anything you want. Again, just make sure you don't forget to add any of this. Um, forgot the name of this thing but it's it's a comma i think forgot the name uh so just you can just copy the whole thing and then when you do copy then you can click enter click paste and then uh once you do this just make sure you change the link and then you add an next thumbnail so now let's test that make sure it works <clears throat> so what this is gonna do is anytime we click on the elements we're gonna be able to change the video in there so as you can see here those are all the different videos and what you can do to even give it a little bit more of like uh, animation make sure it looks good you can just go here select your element and then just add an animation so you can do on hover and then you can do shrink expand so let's say you do something like that that way it looks a little bit better so that's look like they're actually clicking on it 
and then um, <clears throat> it will it will give it a better effect rather than just like keeping it plain like an image uh, and that's it so if we go here again we can just go here say so if I click that one and then I can play the video uh, right there and then similar with this one you can just play this one it's very important to me to meet students and family where they are and then like that so that's again something that um, will be very easy to design you don't rely on the app so that way you don't have to worry if it's gonna crash just make sure the links on from your youtube video are there and that's all you need to do so hopefully this video is something that can help you in your next project for your business or your client and thank you for the support see you on the next video